Hello friends, welcome to this next video on major theory. In this video, we are going to finish one part of major theory, one aspect of major theory. Okay, so let us see what we have done till now. Okay, we have this box of all the big measurable sets. Okay, and for that, first of all, we have defined an outer major, m star. Okay, this is what we have done. And then we have defined a big measurable set. We had this definition of m star of a is equal to m star of a intersection e plus m star of a intersection e complement. If this happens for every subset a of R, then e is said to be big measurable set. Okay. Then we had collected all the big measurable sets, and we have made a box of all these collections, right? And then we studied the properties of this box. So what the properties we have studied? The first property is we have seen that both pi and r in r in this box, and then we have seen that whenever the outer major of a set is zero, then that set is in the box. Okay, this had implied that all the countable sets are in the box, and then third we have seen that countable and finite union of the sets in the box they are in the box again, and then similarly if we take the countable of finite intersections of the sets in the box, then again we will get a set in the box. And the fifth thing we have seen that all the intervals are in the box, all the open sets are in this box, all the closed sets are in this box. You must be wondering what is not in this box, but we will see later on that there are sets which are not in this box. Anyways, then we have seen that all the f sigma and g delta sets they are in the box, and then we have seen that all the boral sets are in the box. And in the last video we have proved that translation of a big measurable set is again a big measurable set. So the, this is about the properties of this box. Now let us move further, a little further. So what we are doing now? Till now we had this m star, right? So m star was the big outer major. Okay, and this is this was defined for every subset of R. So I have this situation. This is your this circle uh, elliptic thing is your power set of R. Power set of R means set of all subsets of R. And then inside this subset of R, uh, power set of R, I have this box of all the big measurable sets. Right, and m star is a function defined on power set of R. It means that give me any set subset of R, I can define m star for this particular subset. Right. But what I am now now doing, I am restricting my m star onto this uh, box box of all the big measurable sets. Okay. So if you restrict your function m star to this box, if you restrict the domain of your function, then that new function is called m, and that is called the big major instead of the big outer major that is called the big major okay so what is the big major the big major is restriction of the set function outer major outer the big major that is m star to the class of measurable sets is called the big major so whenever we have a set e which is the big measurable then m of e is defined as m star of e okay and whenever you have a set which is not the big measurable set m is not defined for this set Okay, so now we have defined the Lebesgue major. Lebesgue major, right? Now let us see whether Lebesgue major satisfies the properties which we were seeking for. Of course, we have already proved that. So you have a function m from the box of all Lebesgue measurable sets, which we have actually proved is a sigma algebra to extended real line, positive real line, zero to infinity, infinity included. And these three properties: the first property that m of interval is length of the interval, then m is translation invariant. And then m of union of e i is equal to summation of m of e i whenever e i is are disjoint. This is uh, additive property, countable additive property, right? These were the three properties which John was looking for, and Henry has given him a function which John has required, right? Now let us see whether we we are able to you know uh, remove the confusion which John was having in the beginning. What was the confusion? John has went to the market and he had this set of rationals and set of irrationals, and he wanted to compare the set of rationals with set of irrationals, and, and he did not add any parameter for comparison, right? Now let us see whether we have given him a compa uh, comparison parameter or not. So we we'll start with the set Q. Q is set of all rationals. So the first question is whether this set is a Lebesgue measurable set or not, and the answer is yes because. Q is a countable set, and we know that all the countable sets are the big measurable sets. Okay, so Q is a the big measurable set, and what is the outer major of Q, or in fact major of Q? So outer major of Q is zero. 
why because is it is a countable set and we have proved that countable set has outer major zero right so now uh, john knows that this set is measurable and its major is zero okay now let us come to the set of irrationals so is the set of irrationals measurable and the answer is yes why because we know that q is measurable if and only if complement of q is measurable because any set is measurable if and only if its complement is measurable therefore q is measurable if and only if its complement is measurable and complement is set of irrationals so we got that set of irrationals is actually measurable now let us see what is the major of set of irrationals so for that what we will do because q is measurable therefore we can take any subset of r in particular we can take r itself here i have taken r itself therefore m star of r is equal to m star of r intersection q plus m star of r intersection q complement why this is by the definition of the fact that q is lebesgue measurable set okay now what is r intersection q uh, intersection of any subset of r with its uh, with r is q that set itself sorry therefore r intersection q is q and r intersection q complement is set of irrationals and outer major of set of rationals is zero therefore this is zero and this is outer major of set of irrationals so we get that set of irrationals has outer major same as set of reals now we would like to know what is the lebesgue major of lebesgue outer major of set of real numbers you can guess that actually we have already proved that uh, real numbers uh, whole real line is a lebesgue measurable set now we will prove that its major is infinity how you take any n belong to uh, uh, belonging to the natural numbers then you have this interval 0 to n that is the subset of r clearly uh, every set is a subset of r in real line if you take so therefore by monotonicity property m star of r is greater than equal to m star of 0 to n now what is the m star of an interval that is same as the length of the interval what is the length of this interval the length of this interval is n minus 0 therefore we get that m star of r is greater than equal to n minus 0 Okay, so it means that m star of r is greater than equal to n, and this is true for every n belonging to natural number. So, find a number which is larger th than f larger than every natural number that is nothing but plus infinity. Therefore, we get that m star of r is infinity. Therefore, m star of set of irrationals is infinity. So we have this situation. You have set of rationals has outer major zero, and set of irrationals has major infinity. Now, John can easily you know. Uh, compare these two sets now he know he knows that this set of irrationals is bigger than set of rationals right now john has obtained all his answers he was only concerned with measuring the things nothing else because he is not from mathematics background and he want to he just don't want to move further okay so he is living john and he is happy that he got his answers so john is living henry now so henry has given answers to john but because john was now a friend of henry so henry is sad that john is living right so henry now will involve himself in something which will keep him busy so that he is happy that we will see in the next video thank you